when we had uh, Jeffrey. Oh, okay. yeah. Jeffrey has cerebral palsy. Yeah. You know, and I switched his focus. And for a moment, he didn't have cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. You switch the focus. You switch the focus onto something else. Like something, I don't know, do you have something favorite in here? I don't know what you live where your duct tape is. I don't know. <laughs> When you have anything in your house, something someone gave you, something favorite. I have the flag that was used at my grandfather's funeral. You can't mom. carry that. <laughs> I was, I'm proud of him. But you can't. <laughs> that, that's the most proud thing I have in my room. Okay, second then. Second proudest thing. Probably the picture I have hanging on it, which is me, my one sister, and See, the thing is, it's got to be something that's sticking your ass. Yeah, something that you hold. Because you know what? The, the thing is, reality is, how can I I really just started this. Okay. You know what? Like I said, as I live in the West Village, and there's four, five, six, seven university, all graduating, a couple of thousand actors every couple of months. These people are single, triple, quadruple, quintuplet whatever, six, seven different things that are trained to blow you out of the water. <laughs> that brass key is all I had. And it got me through 35 years. Now I blow that out of the water. And I teach that. And I'm the one coaching the Academy Award winners. It's my fucking key. Go find 
define some. You know. Not flag. Flag's too fucking big. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I have no disrespect. But no, I mean, define something. The thing is, reality is, you're up against some pretty heavy competition. You're in a fucking business that shows no mercy. You know, and the thing is, like you, I was, you know, as a fucking wheel, you start like this, you go, fuck. That's how you used to talk, you know. <laughs> but the thing is, I wish people don't talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, you know, the thing is, in the, in the 80s, I, I was like this happy go lucky actor, this or whatever. And then an opportunity came to audition for Goodfellas. Remember the Goodfellas? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You know, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm in a room sitting next to this guy. He goes, what are you doing? <laughs> What's your name? He goes, I'm John. What's your name? I'm John D'Onofrio. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> So anyway, it was knee, neck, and neck for Goodfellas, and he got it. Yeah. But that day, that day, you know, I decided to take that key seriously. Seriously. Find that key, whatever it is. It could be anything, a little rock, something, a crystal. Yeah, I have a crystal pig. Go on. Crystal pig. You know that that I that I have on my thing. And that is, you know, the thing I have. That I carry. The crystal pig. I have you know, a little, you know, thing. But that that is the focus that I have. Because you know in how old are you? Twenty six. Twenty six. I have no medical thing. I'm not gonna say here, take Ritalin, there's a prescription. Drugs. All right, say no to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the thing is, you know what? You know, you, you, have you been to New York? <laughs> Once. Casting call, no. No, I, I was there for a hockey game. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these people, are, their, their parents spend hundreds of something thousand dollars on their kids' acting education. <laughs> I went to Queens College for two and a half years. That's from what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up waiting tables for the mom. And now I'll be teaching for the Kennedy Center in Albany, Georgia, probably 1,200 actors, all taking notes. This is amazing. Because of a brass key and a fucking truck. I suggest you do 